Victor Williams live tonight with more about these very, very busy upcoming days for travelers. Victor. Yeah, that's right, Devin and Kimberly. I mean, we're talking about AAA expecting about 3 million Michiganders to be out there on the roads. But the good thing is you're not going to see that much orange out there while you're driving. Folks all over the country are getting ready for holiday travel like Bob Fines. We'll get some of the big ones. Who's buying fireworks today. We're heading out to Indiana. Getting ready to hit the road Wednesday morning. Um, we usually try to leave around 2 o'clock, so we kind of go between traffic. And he's not the only one. Wednesday is expected to be the busiest travel day of the week. It's going to be busy out there. Both on the road. Make sure you're prepared for uh, delays no matter where you might be. And in the sky. As an agency nationwide, we are going to be extremely busy for the summer. July the 7th is also expected to be another super busy day of travel as Michiganders return home. As a result, Governor Whitmer is working to make road travel easier by having most orange barrels removed on nearly 60% of roadways. Uh, my in-laws are in uh, New York, so the question is how, much, how badly do I want to see them? Maybe I'll help Mike Shookman who's on the fence about making the 10-hour trip to New York City with his two girls. Again, that leads into my in-laws, like, how can I bother my in-laws? So oh. if I can get them a citation in the city, in New York, it would be awesome. There we go. Yeah, so that's, that's the whole the point. And the girls would love to have some fireworks shows. Obviously, New York does a great job with the 4th of July, but we'll take this stuff with us if we can. And with a lot more people having the flexibility of working remotely, you can expect more people getting out there on the roads earlier than normal. So just make sure you give yourself plenty of time and, of course, stay safe. Live downtown tonight, Victor Williams. Local. Good advice as always. Victor, thank you.